If any of you happened to catch my video last week that I made on the Nike Dunk Low and the Championship Gray Colorway, you know that this was a sneaker that I was definitely trying to cop. Now, it was officially being released on the Nike Sneakers app, and your boy put a claim in, and I got the W. And the package just came, so in today's video, I'm going to unbox this sneaker with you, and we're going to see if I'm keeping that same energy I had originally, now that I have it in hand. So here is the package that I just received in the mail directly from the Nike Sneakers app, and there's no Just Steal It tape on here. Now, I haven't actually got a W on the Nike Sneakers app in a while, so it's good to see that they're doing away with the Just Steal It boxes. You know, at least I hope so anyways. But, um, you know, here you got this little pull-out tab that you can just rip and open up the package, so that's what we're going to do. <laughs> if I could get it open. Just rip it. I don't need the box anyways. All right, here we go. So this Dunk Low comes in your standard red box with the white lettering. And the official size tag on the sneaker reads Nike Dunk Low Retro Wolf Gray Dark Obsidian. And this is a personal pair size eight. And the sneaker retailed for $100. All right, as soon as you pop that lid open, you just have this plain white tissue paper. There's nothing special or anything about it. Just your standard white paper. Here's our first up close look at the Nike Dunk Low Championship Gray. Bam! Now this Nike Dunk Low, this is a sneaker that I've been eyeing up for like months. And you know, from a distance, looking at it in pictures, you know, on screen and stuff like that. Even some YouTube videos that I watch, you know, it looked really nice to me. It was definitely a sneaker that I really wanted to pick up, you know what I mean? Especially if I was able to cop it for retail. But, you know, right out of the box, you know, my first time seeing them in person, you know, am I keeping that same energy? Do I like the sneaker as much as I did? To be honest with you, I mean, they're all right. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to hype these up like they're the greatest Nike Dunk or anything like that. You know what I mean? But, like, this colorway is very universal. You could probably put a lot of outfits together with this, with the dark blue, navy, obsidian, and, uh, like, the grays. You know what I mean? Like, you could definitely put a lot of outfits together with this. And even like some darker clothing too. You probably can get away with like wearing some black or even some lighter grays with this sneaker right here. But you know, overall, it's a really nice sneaker. If you were able to cop these for retail, let me know down in the comment section. Um, or if you're planning on paying resale for these. Like right now, resale on these is actually pretty nice. I mean, it's more than double retail. You know, they're going for $200 and above depending upon size. You know, would I recommend this sneaker? You know, if you like this particular colorway, then yeah. Um, the materials, they're not the best you know, leather or anything like that. They're not terrible, not great. You know, it's just your basic general release Nike Dunk Low materials that they, you know, put on basically every GR. So, you know, overall, you know, it's a nice sneaker, but, you know, I don't think that this is a must cop. I'm not disappointed, but, you know, if I would've took the L on it, I probably wouldn't pay resale to be honest with you, but I was able to get this for retail. So, you know, in my opinion, this is a really nice sneaker for a hundred bucks. Now, if you were able to cop these for retail and you're looking to sell them, I totally get it. You could flip them right now and get $100, $150 profit for these or so, depending upon the size. But, you know, in my personal opinion, I think you should hold these sneakers. Now, I talked a little bit about this in my Nike Dunk Low Championship Gray uh, resale prediction video that I put out the day that these dropped on the Nike Sneakers app. And I think you should hold these. If you're able to hold them, if you can afford to hold them, I would hold them, you know, see about maybe through the holiday season. And, uh, you know, if they go up a little bit more and you're happy with that, you know, definitely flip them. But, you know, I probably hold these till at least March when March Madness kicks in. You know, any of the other collegiate Nike Dunk Lows that came out too, if you have any of those, I think those are great holds. And I think that those are gonna go up in value too. So, you know, from that standpoint, you know, uh, long term, I think that these are a great hold. I think that these will continue to go up through March Madness and into the fall of 22, whenever the college basketball season starts back up. But I'm just gonna keep it 100 with you guys. I'm gonna keep my pair. Uh, getting a retail W on a Nike Dunk is like few and far between. It like almost never happens. You know what I mean? Like these always sell out really, really quick. They're always super hard to get. So, you know what I mean? I'm just going to take my blessing and keep these, put these into the rotation and you know what I mean? Make some really nice outfit choices with them. But I want to know what you think about the Nike Dunk Low and the Championship Gray or Georgetown Colorway. Were these a cop? Were these a pass? Are these dope or are these trash? Comment down below and let me know what you think. I'd like to thank you all for taking the time out today to watch this video. I really do appreciate the support. To all my new subscribers, welcome to the channel. And to all my OGs out there that watch almost every video that continue to support me week in, week out, month in, month out, I really do appreciate you guys. If you're new here though and you haven't yet already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button and you hit that notification bell so you don't miss any content when I drop these videos. 
And until next time, peace.